This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, March 28, 2024. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had two strong M flares today. Around 6.30 UTC time, we had an M7.1 solar flare. That was followed up by a few strong C solar flares. We're running an extremely high C baseline. And just recently, we've had another M6.1 solar flare. And that was at about 1600 UTC time. Now, we're going to be able to see all of that action on GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, and STO. The current value is a C5.68. It's been a really high C baseline all day long. We can see that M7.1 solar flare. And it looks like that occurred at 616, peaked at 629, and ended at 636. About 20 minutes, very short term. And that was followed by the M6.1 class solar flare. 1540, peaked at 1556, was over at 1603, 23 minutes, very short term as well. Both were generated from Sunspot AR3615 that is again Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma. The most complex sunspot we know of. 3623 tried to get into the mix with a C8.4. We have a 25% chance of an X flare today. I will say on our other channel, at World News Report 1, we have a much more in detailed video about these events. Moving over to HMI Intensigram, well, it looks like we have six earth facing sunspots, some others coming around the limb. You can see that 3615 looks very complex again, and we know as it becomes closer to that far limb, we seem to be well affected by the solar flares more so than when it's earth facing. They say it's because of our geomagnetic connection being to that limb, i.e. we're being pulled around the sun by that geomagnetic connection. 3615 again is responsible for both the M7.1 and the M6.1 solar flares today. And then we have AR3623 up here and it was responsible for, well, it's trying to get into the mix. All right, over to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. You can see the second of the two solar flares. This is the M6.1 solar flare, uh, right on time. Very easy to see. I will say that I don't believe that any CMEs were created, or at least we can't see them on LASCO C3. We will see tonight if Cactus 1 is updated. Make sure to join us about 9 p.m. this evening, Central Time, for a full space weather update for the day. All right, Lasco C3, lots of impacts, no chronal mass ejections visible whatsoever through the time periods. This covers both time periods. Well, it might not cover the 1630 time period, but it comes real close. Nothing occurred from the 7.1 M-class solar flare as far as the coronal mass ejection that we would expect. Now remember, we have more detail on our other channel, at World News Report 1. Uh, we actually put that video up a few minutes ago. All right, over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. We see that we're having lots of C-flares here. And we're headed towards, well, there is the M6.1 solar flare, the second of the two strong M flares that occurred right at 1600 UTC time. You can note that right here. Again, plenty of radiation for everyone on board all around the globe. Now, this covers the first 
solar flare, the M7.1. We had an R2 radio blackout with that. It was an R1 that turned into an R2, minor to moderate. And we all know that happened at 629 UTC time, seen right there. All right, taking a look at STO. First, we'll look at 193 angstroms. And we can see the time periods here. Get, this is the 28th. I'll tell you when it's 6. It's about to be 6 right now. Let's look for some action. There it was. Saw that small flare there. That was the 7.1 M-class solar flare. Now, as we get to 1600 UTC time, 559. You saw that at the very end there. That was it. Watch. Boom. That line straight down is exactly the time period that it was supposed to occur. It looked like a larger flare than a 6-1. looked like a larger flare than the 7-1. Let's move over to 171 angstroms. Same routine. 1-2... This is the 26. Let's get to the 28, 4, 5, right there. There was the flare. Not much to speak of to be a 7.1 solar flare. And now we're headed towards the second one. And I don't know if this is going to cover it. It should have covered it. At least the beginning of it here. And that should happen right about now. Well, they might have shut that off, but we did see it on uh, well, our GO Solar Ultraviolet Imager just now. Now, this was taken at 1800 UTC time, which is 1 o'clock, so about an hour and a half ago. They really updated this for us so we could see that AR3615's almost made it around the limb. This is AR3614, excuse me. And, well, we have a bunch of sunspots here that aren't very complex. Others coming around the limb. That will be... Uh, able to see better on Soho. All right, this was taken at 7.06 this morning Central Time. We see a coronal hole, although strangely shaped. Uh, we're seeing it at higher angstroms only. I don't know if it'll be that powerful, but some of the canopy is missing here. AR315, AR314, additional sunspots becoming more complex. We've seen some action out of this. I believe it's 3621. And we have two, three, maybe more sunspots coming around the limb currently. And at 7.13 Central Time this morning, Noah actually put this up for SDO as one of their angstrom pictures. Very strange. You see a flare here that, well, I don't know what we're seeing. This could be the southern part of our sun. This could be some sort of film strip. It's hard to tell, folks. We can see some of the active sunspots, but I don't remember this flaring. So I don't know what this is, except for a mess. With that said, two strong M flares have popped off thus far today. It looks like we've just had a third as we speak. We don't know how high that one's going to go. I will come back and cover it. It's heading up real time. We've had the day start. At about 6 UTC time with an M7.1 solar flare, followed at 1600 UTC time with an M6.1 class solar flare, and we have a 25% chance of X flares currently. Looks like we've just had another M flare that we will be back to cover. God bless. Please share, subscribe. Please remember that everything's switching over to at World News Report 1. If you put that in the search engine, you'll see an American flag that's waving. And please share our videos and always remember that anything's possible in the bizarro world. God bless you guys.